suffer from flashes and floaters. Better than floats and flashers. No, we're not talking about flash for the guy in the park with the overcoat. We're talking about things you see in your eye that might not be there. Okay, I'm Dr. Brad Weenie. Welcome to Talking with Docs. Today, we have a guest, an ophthalmologist, Dr. Rajiv Finley, to talk about what these things are that you're seeing in your eyes. So, flashes and floaters are a degenerative condition of the vitreous of the eye. It typically happens as we get into our 40s, 50s, and 60s. The vitreous starts to shrink and liquefy separate from the retina. When the vitreous tugs on the retina, gives off a flash of light. People call it like sparkling lights, lightning bolts, arcs, little devil's wheels, but they can be annoying. Then followed by that, they start to say, oh, I think I see a fruit fly. They try swatting it away and they go, oh, it's not moving away. And they're trying to figure out what's going on. Okay. Okay, so that's a flash and a floater that you can see and it's uh, caused by a degenerative condition in the eye. Is there any treatment for this? So unfortunately, there is no treatment for flashes and floaters. Our concern is damage to the retina. You can get a retinal tear and that can lead to a retinal detachment. Retinal detachment can lead to permanent vision loss. So very important that you get your eye checked by your eye care practitioner to rule that out. But unfortunately, you're kind of stuck with the floaters. So when you do have a flash or a floater, is this going to be associated with any pain or only in the scenario where you had a retinal detachment? So there is no pain. This is uh, totally uh, asymptomatic from an eye pain, eye discomfort standpoint. It's really just seeing a bunch of little squiggly lines in front of your eye with these associated flashers. Uh, sometimes people say, oh, well, you know, I, why, why don't I feel this? It's the retina doesn't have pain fibers. Okay. So, okay. So most of the time, a flash and a floater are just part of a normal uh, aging process. However, they can represent a retinal detachment, so you should get it checked out. Is that what we're exactly, saying here? Exactly. Don't sit on it. Always get it checked out. Better, yeah. safe to be, better safe than sorry. And more importantly for me then, if I can't treat it, is there anything that I can do to generate good eye health so that I maybe could reduce the chances of it happening or having any other troubles with my eyes? Right, you got to find the fountain of youth. Go <laughs> test, head down to South America, go find Ponce de Leon's fountain of youth. Unfortunately, it's all going to happen to all of us as we get older. The most important thing is recognize the symptoms because when it doesn't get recognized, those are the people who get retinal detachments. Okay. Okay, so that's why it's important to get your eyes checked on a regular basis, especially as we age, because some of these normal degenerative conditions or normal aging processes could be masking uh, a more serious condition that can lead to loss of eyes. I think that's a fair question too. As we age, what is the recommended frequency of a regular eye exam outside of any abnormal pathology? So, I mean, again, I recommend an eye exam every two to three years, okay. and once you hit the age of about 60, it should be every uh, year to okay. 18 months. Okay. All right. Well, there you go. There's the flash. There's the floater. There's the things that it could represent that might be bad, and those are the things that it could represent that are just normal. Okay. Now you know. If you like this video, please like it, subscribe to our channel, share your thoughts and experiences with flashes and floaters. Not floats and flashers. No, definitely not. We'll see you next time. And remember, you are in charge of your own health.